Oh, your clients, they're text messaging you for changes on your designs. They're emailing you lists of changes they'd like done. They're using messengers like Facebook or WhatsApp to ask you for changes. And they're doing all of this at the same time. It can be so frustrating and also a waste of time as things slip through the cracks and it's unorganized, this way of collaborating with your clients or other team members. But the good news is I found a solution to that and I'm gonna show you right now. Here's a website and I gave the link to my client and anywhere on this page, they're gonna see this toolbar here and they can click right here where it says comment and then they can move their mouse where they want something changed. So if they don't like this headline, they can click right here and enter in a comment to me. And once they enter it in, it's also going to send over to me their web browser details, a screenshot, and also they can click right here to upload a file to me. So once they hit on add comment, this comment is then added. So maybe down here, they don't like these icons. They can click where it says add comment. Then they can click on one of the icons. They can enter in their feedback and they can also add a file to replace this image with. I'll go ahead and click on add comment. And they can also do this for every single page on this website. And all that feedback, all those comments come back to a central location. But that's not all. I can also give my client a link to this image mockup library where I can upload images that they can also give me that same sort of feedback. So here's an image right here. I'll click on it and let me just zoom out a little bit because it's kind of large. And so if I want to add a comment here, I pretty much do the same thing. I'll just go ahead and click right here and let's go ahead and enter in a comment just like that. And then I'll click on add comment and it's also here for images as well. And this doesn't only work for images. Let me click right here to get back to it. It also works for PDFs. So here's a PDF right here and you can do the same type of feedback for a PDF design. Before you go through designing entire web page, you can make a screenshot of your design as I have right here. And this is a full web Web page screenshot and here let me also zoom out just a tad right there so you can see and we can do the same process of clicking and adding feedback there it is I'll add this comment so now let me show you where all these these different comments go everything that I just shown you was done with a simple WordPress plugin that is super easy to install and get working in your business and the name of that plugin is Project Huddle. So let me show you where those feedbacks end up going. I'll click right here where it says Project Huddle. And you can see all of those comments that I just made have all been instantly pushed into here. You can click on any of these requests right here and it's going to pull out this little slide out info box where I can do a few things. I can go right here and assign this task to one of my team members so they can do this for me. Right here, I can click to have it take me exactly to the spot on the website where that request was made. And here it is right there. I can view the details that were captured. Here's a screenshot that was captured as well as the browser that was being used and the user's operating system. I can respond back with a comment. And when this task is completed, I can check this box right here to mark it as resolved and then it disappears from the list. You can also provide a login if you wanted to for your client and they'll be able to log in and see the activity feed. They'll be able to see their mockups as well as the websites projects that you're working on. Now as you can see I haven't really designed this up at all and I was thinking this would be a great future video on making a beautiful gorgeous client dashboard using this tool. If you're interested or want me to make that video, give this video a like. As soon as this video hits 500 likes, I'll go ahead and make that video for you. Now, the first thing that may come to mind when you see that is, ain't no way my client is going to log in in order to do this. And the good news is they don't have to. It's just one link that you give them. They click on it and they're auto logged in. So there's no usernames or passwords or anything like that. Okay, so you may also be thinking, this looks pretty complicated and time consuming 
to get set up and have it work for me. I ain't got time for that. Well, this setup only took five minutes to get going and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, the video is going to be a little longer than five minutes, but that's because I'm explaining things to you. But it really only takes five minutes to get this up and running and working for you in your business. Or you may be thinking this thing looks like it's going to cost a fortune. And you know what? You're right. It does look like it's going to cost you a fortune, but it's not going to. As I said earlier, the name of the product is Project Huddle, and it's just a simple plugin that you can add to your website. And you can see right here, the cost of it is actually very, very minor. In fact, similar SaaS based services will cost you 10 times more per year, but the cost of this doesn't even come close to that. So what we have here is two plans, a regular plan and a professional plan. Now, the only difference is right here. So it's on the professional plan. It's going to allow the client to upload files when they're making comments. It's going to allow you to upload PDFs that you saw where there was the multiple images and any future add ons that are built for this. It's going to include as well. And if you want it to cost even less, when you go to buy it, there's a coupon field, enter in WP Crafter when you check out and it's going to cost you even less. I'll have that coupon code down in the video description for you. Now, there's a couple really cool things I want to make sure you're aware of. Uh, first, this works with any web platform. So if your clients don't use WordPress or some of your projects might be using Shopify or some other web based tool. Well, the great news is, is this is going to work with all of them. And the next thing is you can assign these tasks that come in to your team so you don't have to do it. So this was made to work with teams in that team environment. And you might have wondered, how do I even get notified when a client goes ahead and adds a comment or it gets marked resolved? How do they find out? There's a robust email notification system that I'll show you in a moment. And lastly, and most importantly, everything you can white label and put your logos in and your your different colors in so it's completely white labeled and customizable for you so primarily you're going to use this for uh, creative assets like designs logo designs different graphic designs as well as getting feedback on any live website out there so this will include all of them so it's great also for bug tracking any kind of collaborative development. And there's something I actually didn't show you. You can also have it so your client has to approve or sign off on different changes that you make. Now I'm going to show you how to get this set up and working for you. Step one, you're going to need a WordPress website. It can be a dedicated domain just for this purpose or a subdomain. Now adding this to a subdomain is probably going to be the better choice. So for me, my website is WP Crafter. I would create a subdomain name clients.wpcrafter.com, something along those lines. It's completely up to you where you want to install this, but it's best to have it on a dedicated WordPress install just for this purpose. Then all you have to do is upload and activate the plugins. Let's go to plugins so you can see which ones I have installed. So it's going to be three separate plugins if you go with that pro plan. You can see the main one is right here, Project Huddle. And then I also have the file upload add-on and the PDF mock-up add-on. With those installed and activated, let me quickly show you the settings so you can see how you can make this match your brand. I'll go over to Project Huddle and I'll click right here where it says settings. Now, the first batch of options we're presented with is the ability to add our custom logo to the tool. And also right here, we're able to choose the primary color that's going to be used throughout. Next, let's click right here where it says websites. Here you can change the size of the toolbar for leaving the feedback as well as further white label by customizing the help link that appears inside of that toolbar. Next, we have an option here for approvals, which I was mentioning where you can make your client approve certain designs. Next, let's click on where it says emails. And this is how you're going to configure the 
email reporting notification system for the tool. So first you would want to set the from name. I actually don't like this, so let me change it. You can make this be whatever you want it to be. Just make sure it's something where when your clients receive these notifications, they're gonna know that it's from you. Next, you can set the email frequency, and I love that these options are there. So if you don't want any email notifications going out, this first option right here is going to be for you. The way that I have mine set up is to immediately email subscribed users about each item right away. Essentially, that means that I'm gonna receive a notification when my client creates a comment, and if I resolve it or respond to that comment, they're gonna get a notification as well. Now, if there's lots of comments coming in, you may not want one email for every comment that comes in, and so we have some options for that. So these next three options here let, allow you to group these emails together. So we can send an email every five minutes and that would mean every change or request that has happened in five minutes will be condensed into one single email or every 30 minutes or every three hours. So instead of getting 10 different emails, if 10 different uh, activities have happened, you'll just get one in these intervals. Now what's also exciting is there's email reports. So a daily summary can go out or even a weekly summary if you prefer. Now step two, we're going to add a website project to the tool. We go over here where it says project title and click where it says websites. And this is where we're gonna see a list of the website projects we've created. It's very simple to add a new one. All you have to do is click right here where it says add website and we'll give this website a name. So it can be the name of the website, the name of the client, whatever you want this to be. Next, you'll go right here where it says enter the website URL. You'll go ahead and put that in. Then you'll click where it says next. Now this is the part where we are going to either connect this to a WordPress website, if that's the website that we are putting in here, or we can connect it to any third party tool. So if it's WordPress, you can click right here and it's going to offer to install the client plugin inside of WordPress for you. All you have to do is enter in the username and the password of that website. Now, optionally, you can click right here and you can manually install it. So on the WordPress site that you want to connect this into, you can go to plugins, click on add new, do a search right here for project huddle, and then here's the plugin you would install and activate it. On the client site, it's gonna add a new menu option underneath settings right here that says feedback. This is where you're gonna choose if you want logged in users to be able to comment or not. Right here on the connection tab, this is where we're going to put a piece of code right here in order to establish the connection. So I'm back here and I'll click where it says try connecting manually. And here is that little snippet of code to copy and paste in that area. After you've done that, it will show connected right here. And for all you agencies out here, you can click where it says white label and you can totally white label how this client connection plugin shows when you're looking at your list of plugins. So you can change the name of it to match your business, the description, the author, as well as the link. Then come back here and you'll click right here where it says I've pasted the code and it will establish that connection. Now, if you're not connecting to a WordPress website, you would choose right here where it says something else and it gives you just a simple script right here that you can copy and paste into any platform that you're using. And that's all there is to connecting websites into this. And here is the link that you can give to your client. All they have to do is click on it. They don't have to log into anything, no usernames or passwords, and they'll immediately be able to start adding comments to your website designs, every single page on that website. Then we can click back here where it says websites, and it will list out all the website projects that you're working on. You can also click into any of these websites to see the comments specifically for that project, as well as on the right, see an activity feed. Next, I'll show you how to create one of these mock-up libraries for your client, where you can store different images and PDFs for collaboration. The process is very similar. So I'm gonna go over here where it says Project Huddle, and I'll click where it says Mock-ups. Next, you'll click right here where it says New Mock-up. Now, even though it says Mock-up, it's a kind of like a singular word, it's really a mock-up library that you're setting up. So let's go ahead and give 
this one a title. Next right here, you can go ahead and start adding your images. Here's two images. I'll go ahead and click on select and you can see they're added to this new library. Now with images, you can rearrange these and set them in the order that you want. And there's some settings options right here when you hover over this icon to delete it, add a revision or a different version. There's a really cool comparison feature in here. Um, and let's go ahead and click on display options. So this is how it's displayed. And so you can have it be centered and showing the full width of the device you're on. So you saw how when I was showing you the images, I was uh, kind of zooming out a little. You can set how you want that to be. You could set your brand's color or background image. Some really cool stuff here. And then if you wanted to apply to all of the images in the project, just toggle this on and then click on set. Lastly, there's some additional options for the mock-up library right down here. So I'll go ahead and click on publish and I've literally just created this mock-up library and it's the same thing with the websites. Here is the one-click access link, no logging in. So I can click right here where it says copy and let me visit this. And here is that library. So I obviously set it up right here. I can set a welcome message. You can see right here, it's what I said earlier. It says here are all the design creatives for your project. So you can set whatever message that you want right there. Likewise, when you click right here, where it says mockups. You'll see all of the different mockup libraries that you've created. Let me go ahead and click into the one I was showing in the beginning of the video. You can see my images right here. And of course, I could rearrange them how I want. When I click right here, where it says tasks, it's going to show that task feed as well that is specific just to this this project right here. You can also see off to the right, we're going to see an activity feed for this mock-up library. And that's it. That's all there is to getting this working in your business. It only takes a few minutes to set up and it can really reduce or eliminate the overwhelm that you might feel on these creative projects because when you're receiving comments left and right on different platforms on the phone, it can make things an unorganized mess and it just leaves you with this uneasy feeling that you, you might have missed something somewhere or they asked something somewhere so this is going to give you this way to come across as in a real professional manner that you are using and you've invested in professional tools like this to make projects go a lot faster and smoother and make sure everybody's on the same page. I really love this tool. And as a matter of fact, if you saw on the website, it has like a testimonial for me and a logo because I've been using it for five years, no, four years, sorry, since 2017, I've been using this and it's just gotten better and better each year. Late last year or less than a year ago, uh, they released this mock-up feature for the images, which is great because every creative product or project has different image assets that you need to go over and make sure there's approvals and changes. And it's uh, really neat how you can have the different versions. You can do the compare, some really cool stuff. So I've really just scratched the surface on what you're able to do with Project Huddle. It's a great product. And once again, if you want to add this to your business and save a little bit of money, there's a coupon code in the video description. Just go ahead, copy and paste that in, and you're going to save some money when you get it. Let me know what you think. And remember, if you want me to make a video on setting up the full client dashboard using Project Huddle like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Once it hits 500 thumbs ups, I'm going to go ahead and make that video just for you. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.